Hey guys, just a quick little commercial here to remind you to check out my Patreon page. For people we get on this uh, Patreon page, the better the prizes get, the bigger they get, and the more they are. So, anyhow, thank you for watching a short commercial. Morning YouTube, this is Chuck Gentles, and I want to thank you for coming by this morning. Um, we're going to pan out some uh, material this morning, I, and I know I said in the last video, I am going to do some prospecting, and I am, but uh, I'm going to do this first, and just because this is who I'm handing this material that he gave me, Secret Creek Prospecting, if you watched that last video, you probably saw, I had a little difficulty even getting it out of the bag, but this is beet sand uh, from uh, Cape Disappointment. And this is what it looks like. That was a sticker you just saw, which is going to go on my, probably on my dry washer, this one. But anyhow, this bag, I'm not sure. It, it's real heavy and it's real stiff right now, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it open and put it in the pan here, and we'll go from there. Except I just kicked the camera. That ain't good. Okay, so let's... It looks like it's vacuum sealed and it says that on your food saver, so I'm guessing that's what this is, but it's just a guess. Let's see. Got this camera right in my way. Okay, let's do it from this side. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's good and dry. I was hoping it would be. I'll say this just from looking at it. I, uh, if you're not a person who doesn't mind black sand, um, I probably wouldn't do this kind of material just because. <laughs> This is about 90%, I think, black sand, which isn't a problem. There we go. And that is fine black sand. My goodness, that's fine. Okay. So, now you see it as I see it. So now I'm going to figure out what to do with it, and I'll be back. So Kirk was uh, Secret Creek is who I got this from. So we're going to do a first check and see if there's quite a bit of magnetics in this. And I assume that there would be. And there is. So what we're going to do is this. To help us out. Now I work with a lot of black sand here in Arizona only. It's never this fine. So what we're doing is we're getting it all into this pan, out of this pan. And we'll probably have to, <clears throat> to do this several times. Because all this black sand in here is not magnetic. I almost guarantee it. Uh, like most places, uh, there's a lot of magnetics. And some it's hardly any magnetics. And it's a hematite more than a magnetite. But you can see where... <coughs> getting a lot every time with the magnet but there's still a ton of black sand here and I assume that I'm, I'm picking up gold with this also but we'll see here in a little bit so 
So let's do this for right now. And I'll come back to you here in a minute. Okay, so what you're looking at here, uh, this is what I use in my one uh, cleanup sluice uh, video. This is uh, called the Roly Poly. It's a four inch uh, magnet that rotates. And I bought this magnet separate from the, the whole setup that Colder Young has on miningmagnets.com. And what I've done, I've hooked it up to an electric drill that is a uh, just battery powered Ryobi. It's not a big deal, it's just a drill. But uh, let me show you how this works and we'll get after it. Sorry about looking in the camera like that. I just had to make sure the camera was on. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me fix this. Alright, now we're back. So here we go. Uh, we'll see how much of this is really black sand. And you can see, wow. That is quite a bit. Now what this should do is pull the magnetics only out. This is perfectly dry material. So it really helps it not to stick uh, to the gold more if it's perfectly dry. As you can see, I mean, that's not even on high speed. I usually have a gear clamp on that instead of a thigh wrap, but I uh, don't know what happened to that. I'm using it somewhere else, I guess. But you just go over this a couple times, and this will take care of a lot of that panning that you would have had to have done. Now, we're not going to throw this away. We're going to get it out of this pan, and put it into something else and then we will quickly go through that also. So, um, you can see here how much magnetic was in this. Can't you? Yeah, sure you can. There it is. And this is just the, uh, what's left, this is probably the hematite and beach sand and and whatever. Now I don't see any gold in there, but that doesn't mean much with with beach sand. And as I can't see anything here either, but you can see if I even get close to the magnet, it, how strong that magnet is. So anyhow, we'll separate this here in a minute. So this is what we have left from the mining magnet, the roly poly there. So let's see how much black uh, magnetite is still in here. There it is. So we pulled this much out with some solid magnetite. And there might be a speck or two of gold in there, we'll have to check it. But went from that to this. So I'm going to throw some water in this and pan it and see how much gold is in that. Then we'll mess with this one a little bit and see if we have any gold in this. And there shouldn't be hardly any, but I'm not sure. I've never done this with this fine of gold before, but we'll see. This is the first attempt at uh, panning the material without any magnetite. Uh, showed no color. I'm not sure what that means for sure. Right now it doesn't mean anything. So what I did, I set up the cleanup sluice here. Put some, uh, this is like jet dry, this Magic Drop 5982. Um, so that's in the water. We're set at 10 degrees. We're hooked up over here for our RV battery, a new RV battery. Right there, hooked to my switch. So we're ready to pump some water. We'll see what happens. You guys, we were running way too fast here, even with uh, that little smoke we had. So I put my smoke, uh, bilge pump speed control in from Washington Beach Mining. So I feel that using this will help me control the speed of that uh, to capture the material. So I'm going to go wet down the black sand and we'll feed it from there. Okay, so we're going to give her a go here. See how what our speed's like. This is the wet material. Let me get this water out. Yeah. 
you will see this really, really slow. I did work some of these bubbles out with the, uh, with the chemical using the, you know, the bolt drops. So that comes out pretty good. So the speed is pretty good. It's a little slow, I think. See here now we're, we're picking up the wax and this little piece of concrete here is, is, is a little bit of a slope and I'm hoping that doesn't make any difference here. It is running hard to that side though, I'm sure. So we may have to make a slight adjustment. I'm just using, this is just a tablespoon and I'm using about a quarter of it, a third of it maybe. So the way it's pushing that side, I think I'm going to try to get it uh, more level side to side there. Okay, we got a little bit more level. You can see it's running across the sluice. Now oh, here, you can see it here and there, and then the middle. So it's running a little bit more level. So far there's hardly anything in the bucket. Maybe, no, bucket here. I don't expect a lot of this to get very far. This is the black sand that we took out with the, with the magnet, the mighty magnet. And we're not even seeing a speck anywhere. I'm not seeing it down here, not seeing it up there, so. And I'm thinking this was a good, <coughs> a good test. Alright, back in the seat. Hi Kirk, I uh, went down, you did a fine job of drying this, but I don't want anything to float, so I'm, I'm running it wet. Everything's running good up here. Not seeing, there'll be a couple specks up there. But you can see here now, the spruce is running all the way across. And I'm finally getting black sand down here in the bucket. But I've got the end of the sluice right in the water. And I did that on purpose because anything that gets down this far is more than likely uh, not carrying anything. The heavy should be dropping up here either in those first four riffles or this next piece right here. Right there, right here. And down here. If it escapes any of that up there, it should get here, but it should be stopped before it gets to here. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Okay, I decided I didn't like that build up on the end of the sluice on there. So I put some uh, half inch square tube underneath it on the front. And that's uh, pretty much taken care of getting that out of there and it's just going all the way across now so that's good that changed my elevation to nine degrees I'm running nine degrees now I don't know how fast I'm going but it seems to be working good so we'll continue on okay guys we're about a third of the way through I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not but 
there's just a lot of gold out there. We can find, I'm hoping we can see it. The lady needs better, she's got no slides here. Okay, again, the sluice is running great. Cleaning out on the bottom, on the top. For only a third, you know, we're getting really decent color for as small as it is. So I'll be back when we're about done. Okay, guys, this is what happens when you squeeze on those magic drops. That stuff is like drip dry. <laughs> and you get too much of it in there. As you can see, I got suds everywhere. You can hardly see the pump. There's barely, barely, barely see it under the suds. And you can see down here in the bucket how much black sand is down in there now. And more suds. And you can see the suds running on the top here. You'll probably see the black sand running also. But everything's running good here. And we're getting down to the bottom. It's going to be a little bit longer yet. I've calculated that uh, by the time I put in this one tablespoon of black sand, it takes about two minutes for it to clear the indicator plate and to clear these ripples up here enough where I'm comfortable putting more in. Because this is such super fine stuff, it's uh, really a challenge, but it's really fun to try to make it work. <clears throat> I'm almost through it. I've got about... Uh, uh, maybe three, maybe four tablespoons left, and then we'll do a cleanup and see what we got here. This has been really challenging, just so you know, because I and I clean up a lot of black sand, you know, every time we dredge. But this beach sand is just a whole different animal, and I really thank you for giving me a chance to try it. All right, guys, it's all gone. I've let the sluice run for probably 15 minutes without adding any material so it's cleaned out pretty good. I mean as good as it's gonna clean up. So now comes the hard part, we're gonna do some panning. Okay, let's do a clean up. Nothing holding this down, so this should be easy. Alrighty, so, after all that, that great big bag, what we got, sorry about that, I moved that without turning it off, is this, this, uh, oh, a tenth maybe of what we had before, so we'll get it in a pan and see what it does. Okay guys, I've tried uh, panning that a little bit. It's a uh, real beast and it just takes forever. So I'm going to speed this up and use the blue bowl 
I've got it set at uh, about 50 mesh right now. And that seems to be good. So let me uh, get some material here and we'll start feeding it. I'm pretty sure you can't see what I'm looking at here, but we're going to try it anyhow. There's a piece of, a couple pieces, little pieces of gold from this first batch here. There's right here, right there, uh, right there's one, two or three right here. So I'm going to shut the camera, no, I'm going to leave the camera on and shut this off. There we go. That's what we're going to do. I can't get these little guys out of here and get these little rocks that were stuck in the pan. So. There's one. There's two. Four. A little teeny bit of that. There's 23 little pieces. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start this up and see if I can't run that sand out of there. The way you do that is open up the valve full bore because that pump's running full. You just do this. It's gonna overflow. Let me get these rocks out of here, and I'll be back. That's all of them. So, we do just a little wee bit at a time. I always like to come in from that side. A little slow. Put a little one in on this side. To go chase the dog. That's pretty good, but that's too fast, you know. That's why I usually use the speed controller on this because it can get away from you. Okay, we're going to do a little cleanup here. That's uh, about two tablespoons. And I know you can't see here because I'm even going to have to use a light to bring on some of these. They're so little. And all the light's coming from that direction, so I'm right in it. And these are teeny. And right around here. Start it back up. So that's about 40 pieces so far. So let me fire up here. So I'm running about uh, 50 mesh on the blue bowl. And it's horribly slow. Fifty mesh is right here on this line, right there. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so all the cons are in the blue bowl now. I believe that's eight tablespoons. So that whole bag came down to eight tablespoons, and so far I believe there's forty-five little teeny flakes so we're getting gold
Okay, I'm not sure what you saw there. My camera went off. But uh, I've got all the gold cleaned up. There's 80 teeny, teeny flakes. Uh, so now I've got a brand new appreciation for anybody who does uh, beach gold, finding uh, beach, beach sand and working it. It's a horrible thing to pan. It's hard uh, to put in the cleanup sluice. You can, and, and I did, and it, that worked really good for... But you got to watch what you're doing. you got to watch your speed and your elevation. And, uh, so everything is just a little bit harder with beach sand. But I do have a good appreciation for like people like Fire Gold Wizard and anybody else who does it. Like maybe Kirk at Secret Creek. I don't know if he does beach sand or not. But I've, I'm still going to thank you for giving it to me because it was a great experience. So thank you so much. And I want to thank everybody who watched this video. Please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And watch for the next one. This is as close to prospecting as I've been in months. So give it a thumbs up. Thanks again. And this little postscript here, um, all total with using the magnet on the black sand and cleaning it, uh, doing some test panning with it, running the cleanup sluice, running the blue bowl, all total is probably about five hours to get this done. So this is by no means easy, and anybody who wants to try it, enjoy it because it's a lot of fun to do anyhow. Well, Kirk, here it is. It's all done. If you take a look here in the pan. This stuff is so small, I'm not sure I can focus even on it. Uh, believe it or not, there's 80 pieces of gold in here. And, oh, there's one I can see right there. And maybe, oh, that's all I can get. These are so small. It was definitely a challenge it was uh, probably some of the hardest panning and, and uh, cleanup that I've ever done and I've done a lot uh, I want to really thank you again for doing this and getting this for me uh, did I lose any absolutely I lost some I know I did because in the whole process I tried to try different things with the uh, magnets and panning and sluices and uh, blue bowls and everything worked a little bit and not sure it all worked good but uh, thank you again anyhow so if anybody liked this video give it a thumbs up share and subscribe and Secret Creek knows where all this fine gold is thank you for watching